Okay, Matt Nines, welcome back. In this video, we'll look at using graphs to estimate values. Okay, so a couple of keywords here are extrapolation and interpolation. We're going to use those to predict values on a graph. Okay, so interpolation is just using the graph to estimate values in between the points that are given on the graph. Okay, so here we have an example um, where we have the graph showing the distance traveled by a car on the highway, how that changes over a four hour period. Okay, and then uh, we're asked to find, estimate the distance traveled in 1.5 hours and estimate the time it takes to travel 300 kilometers. Okay, so estimate the distance in 1.5 hours. So I'm going to go onto this graph and I'm going to find, hey, where does 1.5 lie? One point, sorry, 1.5 hours. 1.5 hours lies right about there. So if I'm going to estimate the distance, how far we've gone, I'm just going to have to go straight up straight up from 1.5 hours. I'm going to find that point on the graph and then go over to Y axis. And just take a reading. Hey, how much is that? Okay, so and if I were to estimate that, I'd say that is, oh, it looks to be about, I don't know, about 120 kilometers. We know that this is 150. So yeah, that's about two fifths of the way up there. So that's about 120 kilometers, okay? So, I'm just going to draw an arrow here because we're asked the distance traveled in 1.5 hours. 1.5 hours is where we're going to start, and then we go up to the graph and over. Okay, and just make a record of what that is. Okay, second question is asking, estimate the time it takes to travel 300 kilometers. This time, we'll go up to 300 kilometers. This time, we're just going to go the other way. We're going to go hit 300 kilometers, just go straight over to this graph. There's the point, and what time corresponds with that. That looks to be about, oh, I don't know, looks like 3.75 hours. 3.75 hours, and I can just write that in a couple different forms. 3.75 is the same as 3 and 3 quarters hours, which is the same as 3 hours and 45 minutes. Okay, we'll just show that in a couple different ways. Okay. Um, and then if we're asked to find, hey, what is the slope of the graph? The slope of the graph, that is going to be the rise divided by the run. So we can look at, well, I don't know, let's pick a point. Let's pick uh, this point too. Um, you know, if we start at zero, going from zero up to this two hour time, how much do we rise? Well, it looks like that point is at about 160. So it looks like we rise about 160 kilometers or this car travels about 160 kilometers in two hours. Okay, and that's come, coming from the point or how far that it runs. Okay, so now if we just do this calculation, 160 divided by two is going to be 80, and the units are going to be kilometers per hour. Okay, and this is um, a good thing to note from the physics world, and that is uh, if you are given a distance time graph uh, to find if you find the slope from a distance time graph, that is going to tell you the speed or how fast something's going. Okay? So 80 kilometers an hour is the slope. That is also the average speed of, uh, of that car that's going on a road trip. Okay? Okay, let's flip over to the back side. We'll look at an example that uh, looks at extrapolation. So extrapolation um, is using the graph to predict values that do not lie on the graph, so that are outside of the data that we're given. Okay, so and to do this, we often have to extend the graph um, or use a formula in order to do this. Okay, so we'll show um, show how both those look here. Okay, so in example number two, suppose the same car maintains its average speed. Um, we're going to predict how far will the car go in 6.5 hours and then how long it will take to go 600k. Okay, so if I go down to this graph, 6.5 hours, I don't know if I'm going to fit them all on here. Let me just scroll out just a tad bit. Okay, so to go 6.5 hours, well, 6.5 hours is, is actually not even on this graph, right? We'd have to go all the way over. If we extend this x-axis out, it would be like 5, 6, so again, I'm estimating this. If I was being an excellent math student, I would probably measure and draw those lines exactly where they should go. Okay, I'm also going to extend this line up. Whoops, that's not a very straight line. 
And again, if I was a good math student, I would use a ruler. And then from this, I'm going to go and, you know, similar to interpolating, I'm going to go and find 6.5 hours. I'm going to go up to this curve or this, you know, where I think the curve is, and then go across to approximate where this thing might end up. So I may say that that value is, oh, I don't know, there's 400, maybe that's about, that looks to be about, I don't know, 500 kilometers. So looks like about 500 kilometers. Okay, how long will it take? So sorry, that's now we get into part B. If we look for how long it's going to take to travel 600 kilometers, well, I'd have to go up and extend this graph even further. And from 600 kilometers, I'd go back over to this graph, this graph that I've extended, and then go down to where this thing might be. It looks like, I don't know, maybe it lands at about 7, I don't know, 7.5 hours, something like that. So how long will it take to go 600 kilometers? So we're using this graph to estimate values that are not actually given on this graph. Okay, and that'll be 7.5 hours. Okay, and I should put a little squiggly line to, to state that that's approximately 7.5 hours. Okay, so if we are going to use uh, a formula to do this, uh, we can use a formula. Um, we know that our slope is going to be, um, our slope is going to be 80, we found that earlier, and then our y-intercept, we look down to where this thing is crossing the y-axis, y-intercept is going to be 0, so if we look at our slope-intercept form of a line, which is y equals mx plus b, we can put in, um, in our numbers here and we get y is equal to 80 times x, and then b is just 0. So what this is representing, y is our distance, or I'm just going to put d for distance, I think we know what that is. And that's going to be equal to 80 times time. Now, in part a we were asked, okay, well how far will the car go in 6.5 hours? Well, now if we use this equation, we can put in 6.5 hours right into the equation, and we can get, what's that going to be, 480 plus 40, that's going to be 520. What was our estimate? 500? Okay, we're close. That's not bad. Um, and then in part B, in part B, if we're asked, uh, how long will it take to go 600 kilometers? Again, we can start with our equation. And if our distance is 600 kilometers, we can find out what that time is by dividing by 80 on both sides. 600 divided by 80. It's going to be 7.5 hours. So our estimate here, our estimate was bang on. And I cheated a little bit because I didn't know where we were going to end up. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit about interpolation and extrapolation. There are more examples uh, in your textbook um, on pages 194 and 195. Okay. Our big idea in this section is to estimate... values with interpolation and extrapolation. Okay, hope that gets you going with that idea. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.